Here's the truth. Sometimes, even the best of us get brain block. But there's a very simple process that you need to follow to get out of that rut and create the best architecture you possibly can. What's going on guys? My name's David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And today I'm gonna to walk you through a process of unblocking your brain to be able to actually articulate your ideas as best as possible. And I'm gonna do that by showing you one example of when this happened to me. So let's start with the simple facts. First of all, I had an ArcCAD model up running live. You can see that to the side of me in a time lapse. The site in question was beautiful. It overlooked the water, it had contours left, right and center, and it was surrounded by the natural bush and vegetation. Now, I love these sites, but for most people, it is extremely challenging. When I visited the site, for me, it was gonna be so simple, so easy to understand. I had this vision in my head of how the house was gonna to come together, exactly where you were gonna drive in, how the two streets were gonna work in your favor, and how the overall concept was gonna to come together. Now, what I didn't realize is that as soon as I dived into this design, I'd fail. I'd fail miserably, I'd fail horribly, and it would take me about 10 times longer than I'd ever expect to get this design out of my head properly onto paper. Why did this happen? Well, first of all, I dived way too quickly into the deep end and just forgot about all the architectural basics. This happens when you have an idea and you just run with it. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. And in this case, it really didn't. And I wanted to articulate that clearly because most of the time in my videos, I'm able to produce a design so easily without any flaws and just work through it like it takes me an hour. It's not always the case. And sometimes we do get brain block, even when we're so experienced and know exactly what we're doing. So originally I thought that this was gonna be a single story design, absolutely beautiful, drive in on the side street and tuck the car underneath. I thought it was gonna work incredibly well, but then it just started to fall apart and I couldn't get past this idea whatsoever. I kept coming back to the idea, the garage has to be here, the house has to be here, and I just couldn't get out of the cycle. So first of all, what I had to do was stop, take a complete break, walk away from the computer, and come back to it later. I understand this isn't a luxury that we all have, but sometimes it is something that we have to do. For me, that actually meant turning the whole computer off, going away, and coming back the next day tackle it fresh. Sometimes 30 minutes or an hour is more than enough just to reset your brain and get back into this activity properly. Other times, you do need the day. So take what you need to be able to get back into this process without actually taking too long where it starts becoming a burden to think about this project again. So the first attempt was a huge fail. It was nowhere near what I wanted it to be and it just didn't work. So what I needed to do was come back to absolute basics once I was able to reset. That meant for me, scrapping the whole design. Scrapping it, starting again, not even having it on the side to reference. I didn't want to think about it because it didn't work. So push that aside, delete it, re-map out the entire site. I went back to site, I visited it, I stayed there for a little while, and I understood the environment a lot better. Understanding the environment is critical because it allows you to get those architectural design details correct and get those ideas flowing once again. I then remapped the contours of this site as best as possible with a lot more detail to understand that the street fell away, the site flowed on multiple contours and levels, and you needed to think about that all in one context before moving on. I then physically mapped sunrise, sunset, midday, the prevailing winds, and the streets themselves. I looked at where the neighbors were, the context of the neighbors, and just your basic general studies. This is something that traditionally you're able to walk on site when you're experienced, have a quick look around and go, yep, I know exactly what I'm doing. But sometimes you definitely need to go back to that graduate level, very basic bare bones architecture and just get your brain working and activated once again. We're thinking about all these ideas, all these concepts, we're dragging this and this and putting it together to create this beautiful idea and conceptual image, but then it falls apart. So when you break it down, bring it back to bare bones basics and understand why you're trying to actually achieve these things, it becomes a lot easier to achieve them. Now, like I said, brain block can carry through for a whole project. This project had four, five, six attempts. I can't even remember how many times I went back to the drawing board, rearranged the whole floor plan, gutted it, started again. After the second attempt where I thought, okay, now it's starting to make a little bit of sense. I'm getting the flow of this project a little bit more. 
I still ended up strapping it once more and starting again. But what I did after attempt number two was take that project out of ARCAD and slow my whole brain and my whole process down. Slowing the process becomes critical when brain block occurs because all you're trying to do is fight. Fight against this brain block and push through it, which doesn't work. You can't just, you can't take the wrong puzzle piece and keep trying to put it into the same slot. It's never gonna work. You have to go back, take that puzzle piece aside, find the right one and place it in the right space. So by slowing your brain down, it allows your brain to catch up and go, that's the wrong puzzle piece, let's find the right one. For me, that's all about taking it back into 2D and taking it away from the computer, taking your workspace to a different environment and slowing it down. It's about taking the floor plan from ARCAD to Morfolio, print it out, whatever, and going back to the physical 2D process. Sketching over the plans, breaking it down, drawing circles and squares and lines and boxes that mean absolutely nothing and take two seconds to erase. It's so easy to move lines, change lines, erase them, scribble over them, ditch a whole concept, start a new concept, overlay masses and masses of trace paper just to make ideas work and get them out of your brain. Once you've completed this process, the brain has slowed and you've gotten a plethora of new ideas that you can take back into ARCAD and then remodel, reevaluate and repeat the process. The funny thing is with brain block, once your brain actually unblocks, it starts to flood. So after attempt number four, I had sketched it out, I'd re-imported it, I'd deleted it, I'd repeated the process so many times over. I'd found where the garage works, how the actual property works. And then all of a sudden, I was sitting down in bed one day and just went, huh, that doesn't work. That's not what this project is about. So I went back out on site, re-understood the context, re-understood the views, the vistas, and how that property and that design was going to work. The bones were there. It just needed fine tuning. And once that brain unblocked, that fine tuning became easy and so self-explanatory. So I wanted this architecture to open to the landscape. I wanted to open to the view and be connected as much as possible. With the current design, the corners, the curves, the actual context, it just didn't work. Yes, you could open it up, but you could open it up on a very cheap level. It wasn't the architectural expression I was looking for. So that meant going back, Again, scrapping some of those elements that I thought were critical and the best part of the design, refining them, refining them again, and then finally coming to an architectural process that truly worked for this specific client, this specific site, and this specific project. Now, don't get me wrong. Even after five attempts, this project isn't perfect. It's gonna need a hell of a lot more work to actually get somewhere where it is worth presenting to a client. The brain block still isn't finished it's still gonna take me probably another week of just mapping out this project, going through it time and time again to get it right where I think it's worth presenting. So let's recap. If you have brain block as an architect and you wanna get out of it, first of all, take a break. Take five minutes, an hour, a day, step away from the computer and then come back. Let your brain naturally reset. If you're still having trouble, then map out the basics. Go back to your graduate level understanding, think about the past, the prevailing winds, the sun, the cross ventilation, think about it all. Think about that site in context, place, and character. Then think about it in space, 2D, 3D, sections, elevations. Really take it down to the bare bones basics. After that, if your brain's still working too fast, you're unable to push past that brain block, you're unable to see that you're putting in the wrong puzzle piece, slow down, take a step back, take it out of ARCAD, bring it into 2D. It doesn't matter if you can't draw, it doesn't matter if you don't know how to draw, Taking it into 2D slows the process down and it helps you see that it's the wrong puzzle piece that you need to slow down, find the right answer, and then move forward. The final step that actually adds significant value is getting peer input. It doesn't matter if that peer is a professional peer or just a person or a friend, getting an outside perspective opens your brain to new ideas that you hadn't thought about or may have thought about but just completely dismissed. So a secondary opinion is critical in architectural design and it's a very collaborative field. So never feel afraid to ask a colleague or a friend for support, for help, and to be able to get you out of this brain block. If you don't have anybody like that in your life, you're welcome to join our Discord group. It's completely free. The link is down in the description below and you can simply upload your plans onto the Discord chat, ask for some help and some feedback, and somebody from the community or even myself 
will help you try and get through that brain block. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse that was to the side of me. And I hope this process allows you to slow down and break through your brain block. However, like I said, that is all for me. So like always, I'll see you next Monday.